acknowledge that the land Yorkville University operates on in the province of Ontario is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee and the Wendat peoples and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis. We also acknowledge that the applicable treaty for this region is referred to as the Toronto Purchase. We further acknowledge that the land Yorkville University operates on in the province of British Columbia is the traditional unceded territory of the KK First Nation. Congratulations and best wishes to all graduates. Congratulations, the class of 2021. You guys have proven that you can stay focused, you can do your work, Many of you uh, have met each other online, probably not in person, but online. And the challenge to you that I leave you with for the future is to figure out how to turn those virtual connections into, into real world friendships, collegial relationships that will last you a lifetime. To our graduates, this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Always remember, there is no limit to what you can accomplish since you have faith in your abilities and have confidence in yourself. It may seem just like yesterday when you started the journey and it has almost come to an end. I would like to congratulate you for successfully completing this wonderful journey. We are very proud of you and as your alma mater, will always cherish you, your progress and your growth. It is amazing to come today sharing a very strong determination to celebrate such a great achievement despite the global situation. We have all shared a wonderful journey full of enjoyment, success, and full of challenges that we've managed and overcome. So probably the thing to keep in mind for all you graduates is no more DQs. That's good. Take pride in how far you have come and have faith on how far you will go. Today is your day. You're off the great places. You're off and away. We know you will move mountains. It's been a real pleasure being able to uh, work with you and speak to you. Uh, so best wishes to all of you. And I'm sure we will be hearing about your continued success in the future. I want you to come back. Come and meet your teachers, your friends, and come and say hello to me. Come and meet me. I am eagerly looking forward to congratulate you in person. We look forward to hear your stories and accomplishments. Keep in mind, learning is an ongoing process. Whatever you do, never stop dreaming, exploring, and challenging yourself to be your best to fulfill your dreams. Congratulations on achieving your BBA. Good luck in the future. Have an awesome time on your careers and your educational journeys. Well, this is certainly different. The plan developed 18 months ago was to have our first Yorkville University BC graduation today, in person, of course. Instead, a silver lining. Graduates from Yorkville University BC join graduates from Yorkville University Ontario programs for the university's first virtual graduation ceremonies. Yes, it's different. You are not sitting with your classmates in a physical venue like the Toronto Arts Centre or the Anvil Centre. Your faculty comprising the academic procession are not standing with me. Yet the important matters remain. You have graduated and I and my colleagues are excited to greet you and to celebrate with you. My name is Rick Davey. I'm the president of Yorkville University and your Master of Ceremonies. I trust you've received your special party package. Put your hat on, place your tassel, and let the graduation ceremony begin. First up, Dr. Michael Markovitz, Chair of the Yorkville University Board of Governors, who will extend his greetings and congratulations. Dr. Markovitz is the founding president and investor of Yorkville University. As you might suppose, he has been a huge supporter of the university's students, graduates, and faculty. Under his leadership, Yorkville University has grown from a single program delivered online from New Brunswick to a pan-Canadian university with campuses in Ontario and British Columbia. 
Dr. Markovitz received his PhD in psychology from the University of Chicago. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Michael Markovitz. Well, hello, everyone. Um, I'm Michael Markovitz. I'm the, the uh, founder of Yorkville University some uh, 20 years ago. And I, I must say that it has been one of the honors of my life and a, a great source of fulfillment to me personally all these years to have been associated um, with Yorkville University and with professional education, uh, even going back further than that. Uh, going back, my entire career has been involved in professional education, now more than 45 years. And the great honor of it has been that on account of my efforts, and not just me alone, there, the fingerprints of a lot of people are on this who have helped to, to make this into a success, to make the university into a success. Um, on account of our efforts, people are able to engage in meaningful careers. People are able to achieve their potential to do meaningful and important things with their lives, to, to support their families, to pay their mortgages, make their car payments, um, and, and all of the things that we do in our everyday lives, which really are the result of, of our own hard work, our own motivation, um, which, which is catapulted forward by the education we receive. Uh, whether it's at Yorkville University or anywhere else. The idea that, that Yorkville University is to be a university devoted uh, to, to the various professions and occupations to prepare people for meaningful careers, that this is, and, and to do that across, at first, to do that across all of Canada, not just uh, in one or another province, but really to be a pan-Canadian institution, which is something that, that no one else has done, that, that's an, an important part of the work that we have achieved um, at the university all these years. And you know, to that, I would add that, that while you as individual graduates have your names written on your diplomas, you know, in truth, the people who have supported you, uh, parents, spouses, children, friends, and so forth, they should have their names on your diplomas as well, because through their efforts in supporting you, they have helped you to be successful and to reach this moment in your life. Um, and so, so with, that, with that thought in mind, um, I, I want to leave you with a greeting of, of myself, um, my fellow board of directors, members, um, and all of us at the university who wish you and your families all the, the very best for your professional careers in the years to come. Thank you. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce your keynote speaker. Andrew Barnsley is the Emmy Award-winning executive producer of the CBC hit comedy series, Schitt's Creek. In addition to Schitt's Creek, historic 2020 Emmy wins, Andrew's work on the Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara fronted show has also garnered him three Canadian Screen Awards in 2016, 19, and 2020 for best comedy series. As the CEO of Project 10 Productions, Andrew splits his time between Toronto and Los Angeles where his 2020 development and production slate also includes CTV's Jan, Amazon Studios Kids in the Hall reboot, and the Family Channel tween series, My Perfect Landing. Andrew is also the first and only executive producer in residence of the Toronto Film School, Yorkville University's college division. He's a member of the Canadian Media Producers Association, the Academy of Television Arts and Science, USA, and the Academy of Canadian Film and Television. He's also an inspiring speaker, someone who leads by example. 
I'm very proud that he is part of your celebration. Graduands, your keynote speaker, Andrew Barnsley. Graduating class of 2021, congratulations, you did it. What an incredible honor for me to be speaking to you on this special day. And what a day it is. Here we are in March 2021, having been through one of the most turbulent and unprecedented years ever. Over the last year, we have witnessed a global pandemic, political unrest, explosive cultural tensions, large-scale protesting, an economic crisis, and brand new work protocols for virtually every industry. It's been stressful and scary. There are days when it's difficult to see the light at the end of the tunnel. There are days when there's nothing to look forward to. There are days when we miss our friends, our families, our old lives. There are days when it's hard to imagine celebrating anything. Yet, we have to find our bright spots, now more than ever. And today is a very bright spot. We are here, virtually, to celebrate what you have all achieved in 2021. You are graduating. Congratulations. The past 12 months have thrown a lot at us, but we pivoted, we innovated, we stayed true to ourselves and our plans, we persevered, we were determined, and here we are. There is hope in the air, and the future once again looks bright. Moments of celebration like this are moments to reflect, and this year we do have a lot to reflect on. You do, I do, we all do. Reflection is about thinking about where you are and how you got there. It's thinking about the people in your life that lifted you up and showed you the way. It's thinking about the days you challenged yourself to push through to achievement. It's thinking about when the world beat you up but you dusted yourself off and you got back on your path. And your path led you here to graduating in 2021. Graduating in a year unlike any other. It's been a tough year, but you did it. I can relate. Like you, I had a tough year. There were new obstacles thrown at me constantly. There were losses. There were dark days where I didn't think I could overcome the stresses and the pressures. But like you, I had something monumental to celebrate a television series that I poured my heart and soul into over the last seven years of my life made history. Schitt's Creek had an unprecedented run of awards and accolades. I had moments when I needed them most, just like you are having your moment now. In my celebration of our Emmy and more recently Golden Globe wins, I took the time to reflect. I reflected as I encourage you to reflect today. I reflected on the people that shaped who I am and how I see the world my parents, my friends, my neighbors, my teachers, my family, my peers, my colleagues. Every single person I've met in my life has shaped who I am. From these people, my worldview, my attitudes, my personality, my sensibilities were shaped. I reflected on how my career began with an outrageous question I asked myself 25 years ago. How can I build a career in business in the creative industries? That's where my Emmy and Golden Globe journey started. And that question is what put me on this path. I reflected on my curiosity, my drive, my ambition that gave me the determination and vision to push for an unconventional career. I reflected on the risks I took that brought me to places I never imagined. The risks that made me uncomfortable but forced me to make big mistakes and learn. I reflected on the classrooms where I built my educational foundation and made lifelong friends and built my support system. I reflected on my countless sleepless nights where I wondered if it was all worth it, not knowing where I would end up, but somehow believing that I should trust my instincts and my vision. I reflected on my naive determination to dream big and aim to achieve and I reflected on the dark days I had to dig deep to find the strength to carry on. I reflected about my community, my city, my country, who are such a big part of who I am and often showed me the way. And I reflected on the time it took for me to achieve what I've achieved. Nothing happens overnight. I graduated from my film and television production program in 2000, 21 years ago. It took me two decades to have the year I had this year. I thought about my life from every angle possible to fully grasp what my Emmy and Golden Globe achievements meant. 
and I encourage you all to do the same with your graduation. A lot goes into achievement, and achieving is not the finish line. I'm not finished. Achievements are markers on the road of life. With every one of your achievements, take time to think about what you've accomplished. You are graduating in 2021, in spite of the many factors that made it even more challenging than ever before. What an achievement, what an accomplishment. When you leave, or I guess log off from here today, think about what you've done at Yorkville University and think about where you are going. Think about your people. Think about why you're on this path. Think about what gets you out of bed in the morning. Think about your dreams. Think about the risks you have already taken to get here and what you have learned from them. Think about your community. Now is a time for reflection. And believe me, when you go through the process of truly taking inventory, you are going to inspire yourself and recognize you're only getting started. You will also recognize that you have already invested so much into who you are and who you want to become. That commitment to investing in yourself cannot end here. Think about ways to continue this investment. You have all built yourself a solid educational foundation that's going to open up doors and create opportunities for the rest of your life. Dream big, stay focused, and be accountable to you. I push myself to learn every day. I push myself to be inspired. I push myself to be energized. And I have to tell you, a lot of that inspiration and energy comes from spending time with students and graduates like you. And here we are, convocation, the symbolic line between school and the real world. You've done it. You are prepared for success. You have proven to all of us that you are equipped to take it on. You are ready for big things thanks to your education. My education was a launching pad for me to achieve an internationally recognized career connecting with people through the business of storytelling. On my graduation day, I never would have imagined what I would be able to achieve with the tools my education gave me. Thanks to my education, my career has given me the ability to travel the world, to make great friends, to build businesses and exciting projects, to win awards, to make money, and to touch audiences in ways that I never thought was achievable. I am truly blessed. But nothing about me was special when I graduated. I was a young man in Toronto from Atlantic Canada without professional connections in the creative industries or relationships in business. But I had big dreams. I had an education and I was willing to work hard, like all of you. I'm mid-career, you're getting started, but I do feel deeply connected to all of you. We all knew that building the careers we wanted couldn't start without a solid educational foundation. I'm so excited for the journeys you are all about to begin. One of the great things about my career right now is that I get to spend a lot of time speaking with students. It gives me great joy to offer advice and hopefully help guide the next generation of creative and business-oriented people into the direction of greatness. I love sharing what I've learned, what I continue to learn, and what to expect beyond the classroom walls. This is a responsibility I take very seriously. I've spoken in classrooms, in hallways, in elevators, in cafes, in Zoom meetings, and I've tried to be both supportive and honest. I've tried to be real. Life after school is not always rosy and safe or easy. It can be challenging, but it can be worth it all. And these are careers and lives like no other. When I speak with students and graduates, I try to share the real experiences I've had and the knowledge I've gained over my career so that you may have a head start on what to expect beginning today. When I reflect on what I've talked about, I realize the same themes keep coming up. I am passionate about helping you as you build successful careers. Now for you, the class of 2021, I would like to share my seven themes for success in business and the creative industries. One, the importance of having big dreams and anchoring your thoughts and decisions to where you want to go. You need a destination. Where do you want to be in one year, in five years, in 20 years? 
Your decisions and choices you make every day should be anchored to these objectives. Two, the importance of education. Lifelong learning and developing expertise are vital ways to set yourself apart from others. The world is ever-changing, as we clearly witnessed this year. You need to work hard to stay ahead of the curve. Three, the importance of building your professional network. Find your community. Find like-minded people who can elevate and support each other. And seek out mentors who can show you the way and present opportunities you never considered. <clears throat> Four, the importance of risk-taking. Making yourself uncomfortable is one of the greatest ways to grow and learn. Being open to change and benefiting from new opportunities means stepping outside of your comfort zone. Five, the importance of failure. Failing is integral to success. Make mistakes, learn from them, recalibrate, pivot, innovate, and come out stronger and wiser. Six, the importance of believing in yourself and your goals. If you don't, who will? And finally, number seven, the importance of hard work. Perseverance, digging deep, and not accepting no as an answer. Often, these businesses of ours are no businesses, meaning rejection is common. This can be defeating and deflating, but committing to hard work and perseverance means pushing through the no's and the rejection, eventually turning into success, achievement, and glory. Please think about these seven themes and know that even though the future may seem daunting, you have the tools. And believe it or not, your dream career is not starting today. It started years ago when you first decided that you wanted to work in your chosen field. That took courage. That courage continued when you decided to enroll at Yorkville University. You decided to believe in yourself, follow your vision, take risks, and you made those decisions. And here you are. This is not the first day of the rest of your life. You're well on your way. Look around. You have all built your own foundations for success. You have built a peer network that will strengthen and expand over time. You are educated in the field of your dreams. You have real experience. You have the tools. You made this happen. This is not the beginning. You have already achieved so much. It's easy to forget this. It's easy to lose confidence, to forget about what you've already accomplished, but you're not starting today. You're mid-stride on your journey. You're doing it, and you're equipped to take on the world. Please take a moment to reflect on this today. And as you grow and your career has evolved, please don't forget to reflect. Reflect on the faculty that challenged you, who pushed you in directions you weren't necessarily comfortable with, but who taught you so much. Reflect on your classmates who lifted you up when you felt you couldn't move forward. Reflect on the decisions that you made to put yourself here. Have confidence in your ability to make big and risky choices. If your decision got you here, a graduate of Yorkville University, just imagine where your future decisions are gonna take you. Today was once a dream, a big dream, yet here you are. You should all feel incredibly proud of yourselves right now. You did it, you're doing it. You have come such a long way and there's no stopping you. Keep dreaming big. Keep making decisions, trust your instincts, take risks, keep looking forward, and keep reflecting. Remember your time here at Yorkville University. You will look back on this time fondly and with pride as you all take on the world in your own ways. Congratulations, graduates. Andrew, thank you so much for that inspiring talk. It's now time to award the program award. These are given to an graduating student who has demonstrated exceptional work consistent with the program goals. The faculty selected Interior Decorating Creativity and Design Award is based on the student's body of work. Through various studio projects, the recipient exhibited a professional level of design from concept to resolution, achieving a cohesive synthesis. The recipient also receives the Decorators and Designers Association of Canada's Student Ambassador Scholarship, a one-year accredited membership to the DDA. 
Creativity in Design Award goes to Sarah Elmer. Congratulations, Sarah. Yorkville University Distinguished Student Award is presented annually to a student who has made a significant contribution to university life and BID students and or the interior design profession with a strong record of community work and volunteering, shown commitment academically and personally during their study and achieved a commendable culminative GPA. The nomination is made by faculty voting. As a principal of Out Loud Design Strategy, I am honored to sponsor this award. The winner of the 2021 Distinguished Student Award is Amanda King. Congratulations, Amanda. And now for my favorite award. The President's Award is presented to the graduating student with the highest cumulative grade point average in each program. Dr. Angela Kamenek, Dean of Academics in Ontario, will present to the recipient in the Bachelor of Interior Design program. The Bachelor of Interior Design President's Award is presented to Sabina Zeltner. Congratulations, Sabina. The President's Award for the Interior Decorating Program is Lori Morris. Congratulations, Lori. The Valedictorian of the Interior Decorating Diploma is Lori Morris. Congratulations, Lori. The valedictorian for the Bachelor of Interior Design is Lorna Chapman. Lorna is also the campus valedictorian for the Steels campus in Ontario. Lorna Chapman works independently in residential design and is the owner of naturally inspired design. Having graduated from Yorkville University's BID program. She's looking to begin working with a commercial farm in order to gain experience, get familiar with trade practices, and to prepare for writing the IDPX and practicum parts of the NCIDQ designation. Despite the complications due to the lockdowns that began just as she was finishing her degree, Lorna said she feel blessed to have finished well, passed the IDFX, become an intern member of Erido, and to have found work in our field with wonderful clients. Lorna is a nature loving, practical person, yet she's drawn to attractive, aesthetically pleasing spaces. To distinguished guests, faculty, family, and fellow Yorkville University graduates, welcome. And thank you for celebrating this special occasion with us. I am Lorna Chapman, a graduate of the Bachelor of Interior Design program here at Yorkville. Albert Einstein once said, I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. When I was given the honor of being named valedictorian and asked to address the graduating class of 2020, I was inspired to focus on the topic of learning, which involves discovery. The excitement of discovery energizes me, and it prompts me to keep onward, which has been a motivation for me all my life. Yet, when I read Einstein's view on curiosity, it perfectly outlined the, the act of learning and what I thought would accurately convey the experience of this graduating class. Curiosity leads to discovery, which leads to learning. Many of us associate learning with the more obvious option, which is formal training, such as what we received through Yorkville University. With the help of study material and the guidance of dedicated professors, we were armed with the tools we would soon require. While this is a necessary and important component to prepare us for our profession, it is only one very short segment of our learning path. Learning is an everyday occurrence that starts before we are born and continues until the day that we die. Through the process of learning, we acquire new understanding, knowledge, behavior, skills, values, attitudes, and preferences. Manifesting itself in various ways, education is sometimes formal, sometimes playful, and many times peripheral. Learning is a living thing, and as long as we are learning, 
we are living. Looking back over my life so far, the learning path I took is much more obvious now than it was at the time I was following it. Curiosity drove me to discover things which then became learned. Things such as, what is the story that is revealed by these words, formed by these letters? Or, what is beyond those trees, or over the next hill? Or perhaps the most recent, do I have what is needed to gain a university degree? I learned how to read and how to navigate simply by being curious. And my standing here today is a testament to my discovery. I could keep up with the program and I could earn a degree. Much of my learning though was accomplished subconsciously as curiosity led me to discover and learn something new. Even as my children grew, their curiosity and learning brought on the excitement of discovery all over again. And teaching them at home became part of my learning path, even though it was I who was teaching them. It seems that often peripheral learning has a mu as much a role as focused learning. This became very evident to me as I worked through my studies at Yorkville, and I'm sure my peers can relate. The prescribed courses enlightened me with the wonders of interior design theory, sustainable design, CAD, Revit, studios, and so much more. But there was something else. Peripherally, I was learning much more than I anticipated. In order to complete my assignments, I stumbled through software I only had the basic knowledge of, as well as some that I had no experience with at all. Already seemingly impossible deadlines were shortened more as I struggled to find my way through the media that I needed to use to complete my assignments. Then, discovery happened, as curiosity urged me to dig deeper and see what more the program could do. I learned how to use computerized tools to convey my thoughts, work, and designs. Additionally, most of my studies were completed online which created the opportunity to learn how to communicate effectively through digital means. In the current situation we now find ourselves in, knowledge on working remotely and better understanding of various software has been an unexpected benefit. As I look back over these challenging yet very rewarding years at Yorkville, I am reminded that I have no special talent, but I am curious captivated by the course content that prepared me for a profession I desired to practice, and intrigued by the methods that assisted me in my goal. Perhaps many of you feel the same. Today, we celebrate the graduation of Yorkville students from all over. Well done. You have worked hard and finished this segment of your formal training. As you prepare for the next leg of your journey, remember that your learning is not complete. Many wonders wait for your curiosity to uncover them, and they may be hidden in the least expected opportunities. Congratulations, class of 2020 and 2021, and as Einstein advised, follow your curiosity. Thank you.
Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Coat. I'm the Executive Director at the Canadian Institute for Energy Training, CIET. It's my pleasure to be here with you virtually today to present the Energy Management Program Award. This award goes to the highest performer in the Energy Management Capstone course. So, the 2021 Energy Management Program Award goes to Matthew Curtis. Matthew, CIET is pleased to offer you a 75% discount to the flagship Certified Energy Manager Training and Certification Program, a value of more than $2,000. So Matthew, congratulations once again, and I wish you all the best in your exciting career to come. As the sponsor of the Top Supply Chain Graduate Award, it's my pleasure to present this award to Brett Clarkson, the best performing supply chain specialization graduate at Yorkville University. Including this award is a one-time complimentary membership to Supply Chain Canada. Congratulations, Brett. We wish you all the best in your future careers. A project management program award has been awarded to the student with the highest performance on the capstone project. Uh, and it is sponsored by Project Management Institute Canadian West Coast chapter. And the winner is Dylan Hancock. Congratulations, Dylan. On behalf of uh, Project Management Institute, Canadian West Coast Chapter, I'm proud to offer one year membership to PMI CWCC, as well as 50% discount on our 2021 annual conference. Thank you. The Accounting Program Award is awarded to the graduate with the highest performance on the Accounting Capstone course. The winner is Dennis Barron. Congratulations, Dennis. The Distinguished YU Citizen Award is an award that uh, Yorkville is providing, is, is providing to a distinguished graduate of the BBA program who has achieved a commendable uh, cumulative GPA and has consistently exhibited exemplary YU student citizenship through volunteerism, involvement in campus life and contributions and support to peers. Um, the graduate has actively demonstrated behavior that supports YU values on integrity, community building, engagement and collegiality. And the award goes to two graduates, Garrett Hancott and Sandy Poor. Congratulations, Garrett and Sandy. The Hartley Nickel Award is presented to a graduate of the Bachelor of Business Administration program in Ontario. It is awarded to the graduate who has earned a commendable cumulative grade point average and who has consistently exhibited exemplary student citizenship through volunteerism, involvement in campus life, and contribution and support to peers. The award is named after Hartley Nickel, former chair of the Board of Governors, whose contributions to post-secondary education inspired this award. The winner of the Hartley Nickel Award is Antonio Branch. Congratulations, Antonio. Each of the deans of academics will now present the President's Award to the graduate with the highest cumulative grade point average in the BBA programs. First, Dr. Angela Kamenek, Dean of Academics, Ontario. The Ontario Bachelor of Business Administration President's Award is presented to Sarah Tahari. Congratulations, Sarah. The President's Award winner for the BBA in British Columbia is Anthony Bailey. Congratulations, Anthony. The valedictorian for the Bachelor of Business Administration program is Gogandeep Kaur. Congratulations, Gogandeep. The valedictorian for the Bachelor of Business Administration program and the BC campus is Tara Hyington. Valedictorian Tara Hyington currently works full-time as an accountant at a small business in Cortis, Ontario. Prior to attending Yorkville University to earn her Bachelor of Business Administration with a specialization in accounting, Tara taught piano for 14 years. Now that Tara has completed her undergraduate degree, her goal is to complete her CPA designation. Congratulations, Tara Hyington. It is a real honor to stand before you today as your valedictorian, despite the fact that it has to be virtual due to the current restrictions. I would like to begin by congratulating each and every one of you, of you on completing this chapter of your life. Thank you to those who have chosen me to speak today and for being part of the amazing team of students who have successfully completed these past few years of their academic journey. I know it's not been an easy road for many of us to get to this point. 
Thank you to all the faculty who have shared their knowledge and expertise with us along the way. Thank you to families, friends, coworkers, and everyone else that has surrounded each and every one of these graduates over the past few years and provided them with love and support. Your encouragement and faith has made us stronger and helped push us to succeed. Each of us has traveled our own unique pathway to get to Yorkville University that has brought us to this point today. Looking back, I remember finishing college and wondering how to take the next step towards completing my Bachelor's of Business Administration Accounting degree. I have three kids who at the time were 7, 12, and 15. I was newly married and was working full-time in my field. The thought of adding university courses on top of this mix was daunting for me. I already had so much on my plate, but I knew a university degree would be crucial towards helping me advance in my career. It was then that I saw an ad for Yorkville University. On their program, it stated, flexibility, balance your studies and personal life, a flexible course load. This appealed to me because it enabled me to achieve my goals while balancing my busy life in school. When I started at Yorkville, I was fairly naive to what I was walking into. I came from a college environment where the majority of the work was short assignments and accounting classes. My first term at university, including writing essays in all my classes. I hadn't written an essay since back in high school, and back then, you were allowed to write them with your hands. I love accounting because it involves math and numbers. Essays are not my strong suit. I got hit hard and fast with the reality that this was going to be hard work, but I knew it would be worth it. With each class I had through my terms at Yorkville, my knowledge grew and strengthened in the areas I never thought possible. Each one of my professors worked alongside me, helping me to achieve this growth. They participated in all the classroom discussions, took time to help whenever it was needed, and provided guidance not only for my current classes, but also for the next steps that I needed to achieve my CPA designation. When reading some of their posts they would enter in our class discussions, I remember feeling inspired and determined to learn all I could from them. The road was not easy. My life for two years was working full time, spending time with my family for a few hours when I got home, and then finishing school many times late into the night. It was tiring and hard work, but well worth the challenge. The knowledge I have gained from both my courses and professors at Yorkville University has been transferable into my career and has helped me build the confidence I need to succeed. I am grateful for my time here at Yorkville University, and I am thankful for the knowledge and the experience I have gained. On behalf of all the graduates here today, thank you, Yorkville, for helping us reach our goals and gain the confidence inspiration, and knowledge we need to, mo to move on to the next phase of our journey. To each graduate, whether you studied on campus or online, whether you joined fresh out of high school or had to balance family, work, and school like I did, we each have a unique challenge to fulfill and specific goals to achieve in order to arrive here today to celebrate our accomplishments. Congratulations on this rite of passage and for successfully reaching the next step of your journey. For some of you, that next step might be working full time in your field. For others, it might be continuing on with your education. Or like myself, you might decide to take on the challenge of doing both. Whatever your next step is, here are a few things to remember on your path to success. First of all, find mentors. Mentors are those who challenge us, teach us, Understand that we fail, coach us, and most of all, push us to be great. I have been blessed for the past five years to be working with people who I believe are the best mentors a person can have. They took a chance on hiring me, a girl who was in the middle of college, studying accounting and who had no prior experience. They worked alongside me every day, challenging me to excel in the position I was given. The road was not easy. I struggled many times, and at times I even wanted to quit. But instead I persevered, because I had a mentor who didn't lose faith in me. She saw the determination inside and the value I could offer the company, and she pushed me to be successful within my career path. 
She helped me learn how to break challenges down into smaller pieces and just focus on what's happening at the moment instead of stressing about the big picture. To quote Teresa and Bell, track your small wins to motivate big accomplishments. In every, every area of our life, we need mentors who guide and challenge us to be successful. Allow these people to be part of your life and learn everything you can from them. Learning from those around us allows us to expand our knowledge from what we're taught in school and can make us stronger. As we carry this expertise forward in our lives, we then have the opportunity to share it with those around us. And when things get tough and we feel like we're failing, remember, take a step back. Think what's happening in that moment. Break the challenge into smaller, more achievable pieces, and it will help you move forward. Next, don't be afraid to fail. This is a common phrase we hear over and over in our lifetime. And when things in our world are failing, it may cause many of you to feel like giving up. Anytime you fail, and there will be times you do, you must remember that every successful person has failed too. Henry Ford, Bill Gates, Walt Disney, Albert Einstein, Michael Jordan, Elvis Presley, and Oprah Winfrey are just a small number of celebrities that are known for their huge successes. However, each and every one of these people, plus thousands more, started with failure, and for many of them, failure occurred more than once. Don't give up when failure occurs. Instead, learn from it and use it to give you more determination to succeed. I think Michael Jordan said it best when he advised, don't be afraid to fail, be afraid not to try. One final thing to help you on your success is one of my favorite statements from a leader, Greg Groeschel. Intentions don't determine direction, actions determine direction. Many of us have great intentions for what we want to accomplish. But as wonderful as intentions are, we need to take actions to succeed. And those actions will dictate the direction of the path we follow. Owning your own business is a great intention, but the action in motion with a business plan is what brings it into fruitation. Helping and mentoring people is also a great intention, but you can't help someone by just having intention. You must put in the effort to take the step forward and physically do it. Action must be present in order for your success to be determined. Today we celebrate the outcome of an action you have completed in your life that has pointed you in this direction, towards the next step of your life. You have worked hard, given up time, lost many hours of sleep, and have put your lives on hold to accomplish these actions and fulfill the intentions of your path. What is next? What is the ne next intention for the next step of your path? I encourage you to leave today thinking about what actions you want to take that will determine the direction you will go in. Success is at the fingertips of every one of us here today. I believe that no matter what is the next step that you take after this, if you allow mentors into your lives, if you allow yourself to be driven from your failures and don't give up, and let actions determine your direction, you will succeed in what you set out to accomplish. Congratulations again on successfully completing this chapter of your life and best of luck to everyone with their future endeavors.
Congratulations to all our graduates. We've come to the end of these ceremonies, which means it is time for the ceremony of the tassel. Put your hat back on, that is if you took it off, and make sure that the tassel is on the right side. The tassel is moved from the right to left after graduation as a symbol that you have passed through a stage in life and are now ready to face a new stage. In this case, a graduate of Yorkville University, ready and prepared to pursue your career goals, whether those be to apply for that promotion or to launch a new degree, whatever may be your purpose in striving for and achieving this milestone. Graduates, move your tassel. And now you can throw the cap and imagine all your friends and fellow students with you and rejoicing on this very special occasion. Congratulations. You are now officially graduated and therefore officially a member of the Yorkville University alumni community. As such, we encourage you to fully participate. You'll have opportunities to collaborate, to find and continue mentorships, or to mentor others. The purpose of the community is to celebrate your accomplishments and the accomplishments of your peers. And it's a venue for you to maintain your connection with faculty and staff who truly care about you and support you in your continued success. We'll never ask our alumni community to contribute to fundraising, but I am asking you to be part of your alumni community. And that's the end of tonight's graduation ceremonies. But before we say goodnight, a personal note. The graduations I remembered best, and I've probably attended over a hundred, are those that included my children. The first was when they came to my Masters of Education graduation. My son was seven, my daughter four. And then of course, I attended their graduations. Your parents, partners, and children are thinking about what you have achieved. And they are looking forward to all the possibilities ahead. That's why graduations are such special events. They identify people who matter to you, and they evoke memories and possibilities for everyone involved. And that's why graduations are my favorite celebrations, perhaps especially this year when we yearn for something special. Congratulations again. Good night. Stay healthy and safe. You do us all proud. And don't forget to join the after party. We are so proud to congratulate each and every graduate who has gone through this journey and has safely landed on a big achievement and even a turning point in life. We're so proud of our graduates and a wonderful team who shared with them their journeys and supported them all along the way. I'm wishing all of the Yorkville University grads uh, an amazing uh, new journey that you're now embarking on. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. So happy to share in the excitement of your graduation day and so proud of you all. Thank you. Stay safe, work hard, stay focused.